So Mason, thanks for joining us. No problem. We are uh, super excited to have you, uh, you and the whole ARCA Racing Series coming back to Iowa Speedway in 2015. Congratulations on a 2014 championship. What's it feel like to uh, represent the state of Iowa and, and win, you know, a championship at uh, you know, such a high level in racing? It feels uh, it's unbelievable at times, to be honest. Uh, just, you know, obviously, I appreciate the opportunity coming out today and having this amazing experience. But you know, just to be from Iowa, I've been here, you know, 19 years. It's, uh, this last season, was first year ever my life to uh, you know, be away. North Carolina, obviously, and that's where the shop is located and everything, but I uh, just I've started my life here, my career and everything, and just uh, I've known so many people that have helped me other the way, especially family, friends, and just anybody that I've worked with uh, you know, one time at a racetrack or at a garage or anything to get me to that next step, and just that's what I was about, you know, everybody pitches in, and that's what this whole championship was about, you know, Kansas, I ran, thank you Iowa on the hood, you know, it wasn't it was a meaning like, you know, I said, thinking all the people just because it's been a, a tremendous amount of work and just uh, so, so humble about it. And just can't believe it. I, I, well, I think it's just the beginning, though. I think so, too. So, so tell us a little bit about um, your racing experience or the history you had here. So you started in ASA? Yeah, I ran a ASA race. I can't remember what year, honestly. I think it was 09. Okay. Uh, but I could be wrong. Uh, it was... I, don't know, I was 15 in 09, so we, <laughs> uh, it was pretty did small. You, did you have your driver's license <laughs> yeah, yet? No, but permit, though. Permit, yeah, all right. Cool fact. You know, I, I got my, my permit in the first homestead. What, what kind of music are you listening to? Is it different leading up to the race versus right before the race? Anything that gets you pumped up? There is some pump-up music. Uh, I'm honestly, I like listening to motivational speaking that has... There's some YouTube clips that you can listen to <clears throat> that have different uh, phrases and different motivational speakers in there with some music in the background and it kind of just wants to make you go out there and make it happen. <laughs> and uh, the, um, So besides listening to quotes or certain tunes, anything else that you do, sort of uh, race day rituals, did you get into any habits uh, this season with you know the championship on the line did you st start doing things the same way every weekend um, the one big thing I was always I don't want to if you want to call it superstitious but uh, you know the, the wheel in a stock car pull a quick release and, and it just pops off and you'll see when you latch it on there you just pop it on and it snaps in well every time we fire up the engines you get about I don't know 30 seconds before you roll off it right? yeah. I mean I'm constantly sitting in there make sure it's on and the final time I do it I don't tell too many people this <laughs> but it's fine you actually I think you're the second person we're talking. you're on yeah, camera yeah, too yeah yeah so uh, just everybody now <laughs> but it's all good uh, last time I do it in you know, the last round or whatever you call it right before we get the pull off I uh, pop it off three times for Dell and her so senior uh, yeah alright uh, I mean he, he my idol since I was little has okay. been Jeff Gordon but obviously Dell and her senior was such a big for the support and the sport what he's done but so, last question you're from Iowa uh, we're in the corn belt is what this state's known for how do you like your corn is it creamed is it mealed is it mashed is it uh, you know on the cob how do you like it I like uh, yeah on the, on the cob sweet corn with a ton of butter All right. or cream corn works for me and those two are, are, are perfect <laughs> Uh, you know, I, my family has a little history in farming and stuff, and I have helped out a little bit, but, uh, you know, I remember when I was little, I sold sweet corn one time, we were in the, in the corner and selling sweet corn, but yeah, I like sweet corn on the cob with a lot of butter or, or uh, cream corn, and that's hit the spot right there. Cream corn on your sweet corn. I gotta try that. Is that... Oh, no, no, I mean... Oh, like, you're going, okay. Oh, yeah, well, maybe we can do that. Yeah, could we you, can. Could yeah, you put cream corn on corn on the cob? I guess you could. Cause then it, and with butter. Okay, yeah, well, then it, yeah, man. I might want to try that next time I have the opportunity. Oh, <laughs> like, the corn on corn? Yeah. Uh, right. Double the corn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for the uh, laps. Yeah, thanks I appreciate it. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah. Thank you.